I'm going to start this video talking about the in-class work we did yesterday, and that's on the reverse stack, just to make sure that we're thinking about this correctly. So you're supposed to implement this reverse stack function, and it, you would use it like this. You would say stack one dot reverse stack stack two. So here's a stack one I've created. The top is up here. Okay, so I've pushed first a 10, then a two, then a 13, and then a, a five. Okay, so in order for this to work, your first step, and, and again, when you're done, stack two is going to contain the reverse of stack one, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start. You wanna start by creating an empty stack, okay? That you're going to call stack two. Okay, and you want to, um, I, I guess if this exists, you should initialize it so it's empty and you wanna make sure that the max stack size is the same in both. But the basic way we're going to do this here, okay, is we're going to start by uh, letting a stack two dot push. What we're going to push onto stack two is a stack one dot pop. No, pop. Okay. So we're going to start. We're going to take the five, which is stack one dot top. We're going to push it on to stack two, okay? And then after we've done that, we're going to need to do a stack one dot pop to get rid of that, okay? And once you've done that, I don't see people edit those ones today, which is very interesting. So I'm not sure what that's doing. Anyway, the idea is that the five would be gone and the five would now be the top of this, okay? You keep doing that as long as there's stuff in there, okay? And when you get done, this will be reversed of that, okay? But it's important to realize that's a destructive. Every time you do a, a pop, you're destructing, you're you know getting rid of it. So you're gonna have to start by making a copy of stack one, okay? So that's just to give you an idea of, of how that is supposed to, to be going, okay? So uh, that's what your code should do algorithmically. Okay, so now let's talk <clears throat> about the linked list implementation of a stack. Okay, so we know we have the stack ADT. Okay, in fact, we can go ahead and we can start with that. Okay, so we know the things that we have to do. So we have to make sure in our linked list version of the stack that we have a way to initialize it. The is empty, it's still going to be a thing. The is full is not really going to be a thing. It's never going to be full. It's the whole point of using a linked list. But we're going to have to push. We're going to have to do a top. We're going to have to do a pop. Okay. It should have the same functionality as before. Note that the stack top that we're using in the array version is an integer that's the index that's one past where we go. Okay. We didn't define that in the ADT because in the linked list version, we're going to have to make that instead of a, um, integer, it's going to be a pointer to a node, basically, okay? And that's kind of the idea. We're just going to use it kind of like a last, like we've used before, okay, that we're going to be able to see um, where we're at at the end, okay? So let's look at the code. Again, this is from the book here, and we've got our template to start with. It's a templated file. It's class type, and we have to have our struct node type. And some of you have had a question, and, and it, it's a valid question. Um, you don't want to define the node um, more than once in, in whatever you're including. So we don't have it in the ADT because it, you didn't need it uh, for the link for the array version. Okay. So here we're going to have a type info. Only if I can type. And we're going to have a node type pointer node type type, since it's templated, called link, okay? So in this case, we're, we're, um, we're not using, and one thing to note there, I always forget to do that semicolon. If you hit enter there, it's not ending, it's not going back over, Emacs doesn't go back over to the left like you think. That's how I knew something was wrong, okay? Okay, so, 
And now we're going to have, when you do this again, since it's a new function, template class type. And type here, remember, is just a variable we're using. You could call it something else, but there's not really a need to, but if you ever wanted to. Okay, so we have our type linked stack type. Okay. And it's going to inherit in a public fashion from the stack, I'm sorry, stack A T type. Okay, since that's typed. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Okay, so let's let's think about here what we're doing um, as, as far as the different functions we're going to need. Okay. So we're going to start out, of course, as, as we usually do. So again, we, we have to keep in mind that um, this is going to store memory data. Okay, so we we have to do things like have a copy constructor and overload the uh, assignment on there. Okay, so that's where we're going to start. Here. So this is we're in our get back to the right window in our public section here. Okay, and I have our constant linked stack type type and operator equals okay it's going to take a constant one stack type Type okay. First thing we've got okay, and then we're just going to have our boolean function is empty stack, which doesn't change the stack, so it's a constant function. Okay, find that one here in a minute. Then we're going to have our bool is full stack. Also a constant function. And those don't really have those since we're going to define them up here. Okay. Then we have our void push function. Okay, this is not a constant function, but it's going to take us a, a constant parameter and that what we're pushing on to the stack is not going to change. Okay. And we also have a top function, okay, that returns something that returns something of type type. It's a constant function. The top function does not change stack. Okay. We have a void pop which is not constant because it does change the stack. Okay. We have our constructor, our link to stack type constructor. Okay. And then we have our copy constructor, link to stack type constant linked stack type. Type other stack. <clears throat> okay, and then we have our destructor, which is always named tilde. Tilde, tilde, tilde. There we go, tilde. Link to stack type. Okay. That's just going to be clearing out all of the memory constructs we've made. Okay. In addition, we're going to have a private section here. The private section is going to have our stack top first. Okay. But again, this time, the stack top, okay, it's going to be a node type type pointer. Okay. And as we had before, we're going to go ahead and create a copy stack 
that will get used by both the copy constructor and the assignment operator that we're overloading. Okay. And again, this is we're doing that reason for all that since we have memory uh, member data, we want to avoid shallow copying. Okay. Copy style constant link stack type type. Other stack. This is something. There you go. Again, when Emacs doesn't indent things the way you expect, you've messed something up. Okay. <clears throat> so that's the basic idea there. Okay. So the way we're going to work this is that our stack top pointer will initially point to a null pointer. And we can check that to see uh, if, in fact, the stack is empty. Okay. Um, so let's start with the constructor. Probably is the best thing to do. Okay. Without a constructor, nothing else works. Okay. So here's our default constructor right here. Okay. And for this one, it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to let the stack top be equal to the null pointer. Okay. And if I were doing this not in a video, I would probably start with only that function uh, defined. The rest I would um, not put in yet, and kind of test it as we go. But we're gonna we're gonna live dangerously here, okay? And hopefully things will work out, okay? So now let's look at the empty stack and the full stack. Those are pretty straightforward as well, okay? So for the is empty stack. So when is the when the stack going to be empty? How do we know? We know that um, if the stack top is equal to the null pointer, okay, we know that is when that's going to be the case. So we're just going to return. So that's going to return a true or false. So if stack top is equal to the null pointer, that's going to be what we return. Okay, that's all we have to do there. Okay, the is full stack is the easiest function you will create this entire semester, okay? Uh, because it's a linked list, it can't be full. We're just gonna return false every time, okay? And again, you may be thinking, why is that there? Well, it's there because it's an obligation coming from the uh, stack ADT has to be there, okay? Okay, so let's also look here uh, while, while we're at it here. Uh, at this uh, initialized stack. Did I put that one in? I don't remember putting that one in. Maybe I didn't. I must have skipped that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this one in. Put it up here before I just put it in order here. Okay, so the initialized stack is a void function. Okay, and it's initial stack okay doesn't take anything so we're going to start with this node type type pointer called temp okay then we're going to say we're going to do a while loop here that's wrong thing there Say while stack top not equal to null pointer. Okay, just like we did with with link list before. Okay, we're going to let temp be equal to the stack top. Okay, so in this case, we're letting the uh, link list or the letting the the pointer here be at the very end of the link list. Okay, temp is equal to stack top. Okay. Then we're letting stack top be equal to stack top link. Okay. Once we've done that, we're going to delete temp and keep on moving. Yeah. Okay. I may have said before, and if so, it would have been correct, that we're, we're not. We're adding to the end every time. Okay, so that's that's what we're doing there. But the stack top is going to point to the beginning of the list. Okay, no, so I guess we're adding to the beginning. That would make sense. 
uh, and then we're pulling things up. Okay, so we're you could do it the other way around as well, but that's that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to have a new element that's going to be added to the head every time. Okay, in fact, we're going to look at this um, next when we do the push, right? Okay, and then this is again going through and deleting everything from the stack. Uh, we could have a delete stack function, which um, I mean, if you wanted to do that, but, but they're just doing it here through the initialize. Okay, so the end result of the initialize is that you have a, an empty stack. So is empty would come back as true. Okay, so let's look at the push. Okay, so um, again, the push operator, we're gonna have to create a new node. This is where, so this is the equivalent of adding a new node at the root, basically. Okay, so we have to start like we always do when we're inserting into a linked list. We have to create a node type, type, new node, doesn't have to be called new node, but again, we always do that just because it makes life easier, okay? Okay, so node type type is equal to new node, and then the new node, we have to allocate it memory, so we'll say is equal to new, node type, type, Okay, so this line is going to actually allocate the memory for us. Okay, so now we not only have the new node as an address, we have it actually in memory somewhere. Okay, and then as always, we're gonna let the new node info be equal to the new item we're sending in. Okay, and then the new node link Okay, so we want the new node, we want it to point to the stack top because the stack top is currently the, the, the last item added. This is going to be the new, the latest item added. Okay, we're going to equal to stack top. Okay, we then have to move the stack top pointer equal to the new node. Okay, and the order of these is important. Okay, if you don't do this the right way, you'll lose stack top along the way. Okay. So that's all push is going to do. Okay, so again, if we're visualizing it, that every time we add a new item to the stack, it will be the new head. Okay, if, if we had a head. Okay, we're just using the the stack top instead. Okay, and there are other ways to do this. This is how we're going to choose to do it. Okay, we'll follow it along the book. Okay, so we have the top function now. Okay, and the top is going to um, allow us to see, or we're gonna, we're gonna not see, but get back what's uh, on the, the, the top of the stack, okay? So in this one, we're going to do insert again, okay? We're going to insert that the stack top is not equal to the null pointer, okay? This is kind of a, a last ditch uh, safety check because you shouldn't call top, you should always do an, an if, not is empty stack before you call top. But if you don't do that, you'll hit this. And this will give you, some of you have found out, it will give you a segmentation fault or some kind of a, a, a cert error if you if this hits it when it's not ready, okay? So all we're gonna return then is just the stack top. Info. Okay, info, there we go. That's all that's going to do. Okay. So since I've done that, let me go ahead before I forget. I didn't include anything up here, so let's go ahead and take care of that. Okay. So I'm going to include uh, IO stream. I'm going to include C assert. I'm going to include the stack ADT.h. Might as well do a using namespace standard. Okay. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, that's the top. 
So now we have the pop. Okay. So the pop is going to be the same as deleting from the root. Okay. Or the head of, of a link list. Okay. So we've done this before. So we just have to be careful to uh, actually delete it. Okay. When we're done. Okay. So we're going to start as we did um, with the push. Okay. With a node type. I pointer, but this time it's going to be the temp. It's temp. Okay. We have to do a check here. We're going to say if the stack top is not equal to null pointer. Because if it's equal to null pointer, then we can't pop. We can't remove anything, right? Okay. So we're going to check. If that's the case, we're going to let temp point to that first item or the, the, the item that we're going to be deleting, okay, the, the top item of the stack, okay? So temp points to stack top. We're now going to advance stack top to the second item, okay? Okay, doing so, if we didn't set the temp first, then that first node, the memory's stuck. You can't get to it. You can't find it, but it's marked as being used. So your program would, program would have a memory leak, okay? But we've captured that address as temp, so then we can delete temp. And that's going to get rid of it, okay? And we have an else here just because um, they may be trying to, if they hit this else, then we can say they cannot remove cannot pop from an empty stack, okay? Just so they're aware of the issue in that and in fact, okay? Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do here is um, a little more convoluted, okay? And I think I'm actually gonna leave this one uh, for you guys to do yourself so the video won't be super long. But that's the copy stack, and it's on page um, 1210 and 1211, okay? So go ahead and go through that one. Uh, all, all we're doing there, we're just going to create uh, this other stack, and we're doing an actual copy, so we're doing a deep copy there, okay? Um, we can go ahead and talk about, because they're fairly quick, the uh, constructor and destructor, okay? Okay, so we've got the regular constructor. This is a copy constructor here, okay? This is the one here that takes the other stack. Okay. So for this one, um, we're just gonna let the stack top be equal to the null pointer, okay? Again, to start off this, this copy, then we're gonna say the copy stack, the one that, that you guys are gonna do that I didn't do, or that uh, I'm not gonna do other stack, okay? That's all the copy constructor does, okay? And then as far as the destructor goes, pretty straightforward, all we have to do is initialize the stack, okay? And when you've done that, that's gonna take that back to nothing, okay? And then we'll go back and Put the code for overloading the equals operator. Okay. And, and again, we're going to use the copy stack for this one. I'm going to say if this, again, this refers to the, the stack on the left that called it of the equal sign. Okay. If this not equal to other stack. And again, if, if it is equal to other stack, then we're trying to copy ourselves. We don't want to do that. That wastes resources. We're then going to copy stack, other stack. Okay. That's all that's going to do. Okay. So that should be everything um, except the uh, copy. 
copy stack function. Okay. Which actually I won't, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. I just won't do it on the video. So you don't have to watch me do it, but this should give us an idea of how this stack is going to work. Okay. As far as the functionality, you should be able to use it exactly like use uh, the other stack that we did, right? That's, that's the whole point of having the stack ADT. Uh, you can write a program and it's going to do the same push, pop, um, top, everything else should be the same. Okay. So we'll work on some examples in class that will take care of that. Okay. So again, I will copy this, this new file as soon as I add the um, copy stack function and look for typos, typos. I'll put it slash TMP directory. So we should be able to start from there. Okay. So um, again, we'll in class tomorrow or in class on Wednesday, we'll certainly talk about uh, some more of this stuff.